Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to A Day in the Life. Today in A Day in the Life, I'm going to teach you how to make something. Well, actually how to bake something. A decadent chocolate roulade with a sinister cream filling. Let's go make it. Well, you coming? Come on. So, with these ingredients, I'm going to make a chocolate roulade the recipe actually comes from Jacques Pepin, and uh, it's an excellent recipe. Julia Child calls it her favorite dessert. Well, she did when she was alive. All we're going to need in various forms, um, we're going to need some chocolate. I'm using the Giardelli Baker's Chocolate of Bittersweet. This is 60% cacao, which is actually very good for you, you know. We're going to need some unsalted butter. Always cook with unsalted butter. Because if you salt things and you have salt in your butter, sometimes things get too salty. I'm using some Scharfenberger cocoa powder. It's an excellent cocoa powder. You can use other cocoa powders, but I recommend the Scharfenberger, as does Jacques Pepin. We're going to use a little bit of granulated sugar. We're going to need some heavy cream for both the roulade batter and also for the whipped cream afterwards. In the whipped cream afterwards, we're also going to put in some Cognac, so I have some Remy Martin Cognac. It's going to need egg whites, seven egg whites. I recommend Eglin's Best Eggs, but you can use any eggs that you like to use. It doesn't necessarily have to be this brand of egg. We're going to be using some confectioner's sugar, the powdered sugar. And we're also going to be using strawberries, nice fresh strawberries. For the outside of the roulade. As far as bakeware, you're going to need a jelly roll pan. If you look at your cookie sheets, if you have one that has a uh, like a three-quarter to one inch rim around it, that's a jelly roll pan, not really a cookie sheet. And we're going to be putting some parchment paper on it so the roulade does not stick to the pan. We're also going to be buttering that parchment paper so again it doesn't stick to the parchment paper as well. So let's go ahead and get making our roulade. We're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So let's go ahead and put this on bake. And once our red light goes out it'll be preheated. Okay we're going to put in one cup of heavy cream and we're going to actually simmer this because we're going to use this as our chocolate base. So I'll go ahead and put this in the saucepan. And we'll put that on simmer. So we're going to take our Giardelli chocolate, our bittersweet, and we're going to break it up into pieces, just like that. Now, this is eight ounces of Giardelli chocolate, and we're gonna need all eight ounces, so I have to break over this other piece as well. Once your, he Once your heavy cream has started to simmer, go ahead and add the pieces of chocolate. And we're gonna be stirring these with a wire whisk, so when they melt, they'll melt evenly, and they'll melt within the heavy cream. We don't want the heavy cream to, be, to come to a boil, because we're going to want it to cool before we actually use it in the batter for the roulade. But make sure you put all your eight ounces of chocolate right into the heavy cream. And then take your whisk and start to stir it. Now, once you're done stirring it, your chocolate should look like this. It's nice and creamy, nice and smooth. And then we're going to set this aside to let it cool because we don't want it to be extremely hot when we put it into the mixture. The next part is our mixture for the rest of the batter. The next step is going to be the batter. And this consists of two tablespoons of granulated sugar and seven egg whites. So separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. So we have our seven egg whites in our bowl. We haven't added our sugar yet. If you're concerned about wasting the yolks, I mean seven egg yolks, that's maybe a waste. What I do is I save them in a container and I use them to make a custard. 
because with custards you need separated egg yolks and for souffles and roulards you need separated egg whites so if you make a custard in the next day or so you can use those yolks in that custard and there's our second tablespoon of sugar now we need to put this up and mix this until the egg whites have soft peaks and are a little bit shiny. This will take a few minutes, but don't go away. Be patient because you want to make sure that you actually see when the egg whites get their peaks because you don't want them to get too stiff. We'll be right back. Well, as you can see, it's getting frothy, but it's not quite ready yet. It still needs some more time to become those stiff, shiny peaks. Okay, so you can see how they're nice and stiff peaks now. It's exactly what you want, nice and shiny, stiff peaks. Now we're going to take about a quarter of this and put it in with the chocolate. Okay, so we're going to take about a quarter of this and we're going to put it over in the chocolate. A little bit more. And we're going to stir this into the chocolate. Now rather than beat it with a whisk, you really just want to gently fold it. You don't want to whisk it because you don't want to lose the peaks of those egg whites. So you just put it in here until it's a creamier color. Okay, so here's the creamier color. It's all fairly even. It's not split up or anything. So that's all done like that. Now what we're going to do is take this mixture and put this entire mixture in with the rest of the egg whites and fold that in. So we've dumped the rest of the chocolate in here and we're just slowly folding it in. We're not mixing it. And fold it with a rubber spatula. Don't use a whisk or anything like that. You want to put it in gently. Keep taking in from the sides until it's all one uniform color. Wonderful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is exactly how you want it to look. Now we're going to butter our parchment and this is our batter we're going to bake in our 350 degree preheated oven. So you can butter your parchment just by like coloring it with a crayon. It's hard to do one-handed, but I want to get you a little idea on how to do it. I'm going to finish it up with both hands with the camera off. Okay, so that's what a buttered parchment looks like. You can see the sheen on it. That's all butter. And make sure you get the edges, too. Those folded edges, because you don't want the roulade to stick anywhere. Now, we're going to take our batter. And we're going to pour it into our bake baking pan here, our jelly roll pan. Scrape it out and make sure we get all of it. What you want to do is make sure that when you put it in the pan that you spread it out so it goes all the way to the edges because you want to make it as fill the pan as much as possible so just even it out. Okay. okay, now we place that in the oven, 350, for 10 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye on it. It should be puffy when it's done. All right, so after 12 minutes of baking, this is what the roulade looks like. Uh, we're going to have to let it cool at this point. It'll take a while to cool. You can't really do much with it until it cools. And once that happens, we'll be making the cream filling, the Chantilly and Cognac cream, and we'll be putting it in there with some cocoa and rolling it up. So, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, the roulade batter has cooled. You'll notice it's not as puffy any longer, but it's flattened, and what we're gonna do now is cover it with a little layer of cocoa powder, and then we'll make the Cognac Chantilly cream and we're going to spread that, a thin layer of that on there, 
and then roll it up and put it in the refrigerator for a while. So first, the cocoa. So I'm using Scharfenberger unsweetened natural cocoa powder. Now I'm going to just take a spoon, I'm going to dust the top with cocoa powder. Okay, you can see that it's lightly dusted with cocoa powder. Now we're going to make the Chantilly cream filling. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Okay, we're going to need two tablespoons of sugar, one cup of heavy cream, one half teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of cognac. Bring up the bowl, turn on the mixer, slowly at first, now you got to make sure that your cream is cold for it to whip properly, so come back when it's all whipped. Okay our whipped cream is done whipping, we're going to now take and Spread this whipped cream into our roulade. Okay, we'll take some whipped cream, put it right on the roulade, and we don't want two little bits, we're going to take a lot, put it on the roulade, and we'll spread it after we get a bunch on the cake. Okay. So you see that nice thin layer of cream. You don't want to put too much because we're going to roll this. If you put too much cream, it'll just all leak out. And when you roll it, you want to take the paper and pull it up and actually use the paper to help roll it. And as you roll some in, you peel the paper back a little bit until you get it all rolled up. But we want to keep the paper because we're going to wrap the roulade in the paper before we put it in the refrigerator. Okay, this is the roulade rolled up in the paper, and we're going to put it in the refrigerator exactly like this. We're going to take it off of the tray, but you could put it in the refrigerator on the tray as well if you have the room in the refrigerator. We're going to take a look at the end here. See how it's rolled up. Kind of looks like a devil dog. But now we're going to put it in the refrigerator. Now you could put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours, but you can put it in there up to a day. So all you have to do is put some confectionery sugar on it, cut up some strawberry, strawberries and serve it with the strawberries for a little sweetness to complement the dark chocolate. And there you have it, a chocolate roulade as good as Jacques Pepin could make himself. Well, here it is, the chocolate roulade. Get some strawberry in here. Mmm, good strawberries. Look at that nice cream filling. Mmm. Cognac. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. You have to make this. This is really good. Well, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV and A Day in the Life. I'm going to go eat some more of this. You should make some too. Bye-bye. <laughs>